Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that RetroPie 4.1 was released on November 5th, 2016. Yes, I know it's been released. A couple people have messaged me asking me to make some videos, but I got two sick kids running around screaming their freaking heads off, and it's been crazy around here. Later on this week, I will make a ton of videos uh, testing out the new updated cores and stuff like that. Let's go to the change log here. A lot of stuff's been changed. It's not going to be phenomenal. You're not going to get full speed N64 emulation or anything like that. The changes are notable. Updated RetroArch and LibRetro cores to the latest version. Pretty cool. Renamed to match the upstream core names. So a lot of the emulators may have been renamed. Updated Vice C64. Definitely want to try that out. Fixed PPSSPP building. I mean, if you run this, you know PPSSPP runs like crap on the Pi right now. Anyway, one of my favorite, LRFBA Next was updated. Pretty cool. To 2.97.39. Definitely make a video on that. Wi-Fi configuration added ability to import Wi-Fi SSID. So you can set up a text file and import your Wi-Fi settings. Your password, the SSID. Uh, pretty cool, I guess. Updated Fuse. Now this is something I really wanted to make another video on. The ZX Spectrum. I love it. And I'll be making a video this week. Definitely. Oh, they updated both of the Spectrum emulators and the CPC emulator. So right here, it includes the LR Glumpin 64. Uh, it's out of the experimental or optional and moved to the main packages. This is another core for N64. A lot of talk's been going on about this emulator being super awesome. I've had nothing but trouble with it. I will test it out now that it's in the main packages. But with my experience, it, it takes everything to such a low resolution. It's not even worth playing. But I will go back to that this week also. So there are tons of things that have changed. And there's a ton of things that just haven't changed. Like I said, you're not going to get full speed N64 emulation out of this build here. You're not going to get full speed Dreamcast or PPSSPP. That's a long way off. But it's a welcome change. There are some settings that I definitely want to try out. I really appreciate you watching, guys. And this was just kind of a heads up to everybody. Leave a link in the description on how to install this. It will install just like 4.0, and I've made several videos on that. Like always, thanks for watching.